Well, cell phones are everywhere, right? We use them to order groceries, reserve a table, even dictate the outcome of a live show. Yes, it is a theater that you control and you can experience it right here in town. Pittsburgh CLO's The 20 Sided Tavern is playing at the Greer Cabaret Theater. And the co-creators are joining us right now. Daggle, who is the writer and also plays the game master, and Sarah Davis Reynolds is the game designer and plays the tavern keeper. <laughs> okay, so this is so fascinating. So Tell us how this works. Yeah, so um, the way that this works is we have this incredible show that has so many different choices and options, different characters that can come on every night. And then we use this technology called Gameotics that is on your phone and it lets you make the choices that decide where the show goes. What room are we going to explore? What characters are we going to take with us on this journey? What items are we going to collect so that we can complete our, our story and our quest? Um, and it lets the audience totally get to decide what that looks like every night. You, we were talking about this yesterday and how it's like choose your own adventure books, but it also yeah. feels very much like improv too. Absolutely, yeah. it's you know because it's this totally original fantasy world, right? We, we call it we call it functionally similar to, but legally distinct from Dungeons and Dragons. Right? Okay. So we're playing this game and we have the story. We know where we're going, but how we're going to get there, we make up along the way. Exactly. So do the actors love it or are they terrified of what the audience will choose? for them that night. <laughs> I, I think it's a little bit of both, honestly. Yeah. Um, we constantly say that we are trying to retain the capacity to surprise everyone, and that includes the actors, uh, to let the audience surprise us with what they're going to, to make us do and, and have us do, um, the names they give us and the choices they decide. Um, it's, it's a little bit of both. It's a great time for everyone, but it is also a little nerve-wracking sometimes. For sure. I think that's refreshing, though, because I have to think if you're doing, and I, I'm sure if you're doing one of the big name plays and performances, that it's fun. But to do it day after day after day could probably get a little repetitive and maybe boring. This is not that. This is never, never boring. That. It's never, never boring. boring. <laughs> it's never boring. And we give ourselves this great gift of there's no fourth wall, right? Whenever we're there, we can see who is in the audience, and we're talking to those people in the audience. So, like, you know, if we see that there are families there, we're going to steer towards that sort of sort of content, and you know, we we can really talk to people in the audience. And I love that you said you tested this out in New York and Philly yeah. before you brought it here. Yes. So, so I yeah. love that. Normally they test things out in Pittsburgh and then move them to New York. You guys did it the other way around. We did. Um, so we're working with the Pittsburgh CLO um, who have been absolutely amazing uh, partners in this venture because they are so focused on new and innovative work in live entertainment and in theater. And so being able to premiere here with them has been so incredible. And we were able to do some of that development in New York and Philly in the smaller ways so that we could bring this, this huge production here with projections all around and everything. So we've talked about how you can use your phone through yes. gameotics, but you also brought this we giant did. die. The decider. The decider. Yeah. Yes. Is that what you call it? It is yeah. called the decider. So yes. at some points during the show, this is used to figure things out. Yes. When the actors are rolling their small die, we have dice cameras that show on the big projections what they're rolling. But for some bigger moments, we have this that either an audience member can roll or the actors are rolling just to sort of like give it a little more oomph. Do yeah. you want to roll can it? We, can we uh, roll yes, it down please. the steps? Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. We don't want to hurt your die. You won't hurt it. Like, it, okay. it is very right. sturdy. So we're gonna, we're it looks like it's it. solid wood. So but the you goal said is to get a 20, right? 20 is to the get best a 20. you can do, and one okay. is the worst you can do. So yeah. one is the worst need? you can do, yeah. and 20 is the best. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So here goes. It's a seven. Seven's lucky, right? There we go. Yeah, exactly. So what would that mean during the show? Depends on what you're trying to do. It, we, uh, if let's say you're in combat and you're trying to, you know, give somebody a slap in the face, right? A twenty is you get them, you slap them so hard, and a one is maybe you go up and just, whoop, oops, I didn't slap them so uh, well. So a seven might be, you know, okay. just what they deserve. Yeah. They might a mild, right. yeah. mild exactly. Little. <laughs> you did it, but not yes. as well as you could okay. have. <laughs> I want to keep this around. I feel like we should use we this. We could use this on the show. I'm not saying for the slapping, but maybe for other things. Who knows what might happen during the course? Can of we the purchase show. one of these? Uh, mm, yeah, maybe. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I think you need a gift shop. At the it's exactly. The merchandise opportunities. Yeah. Okay. Thank Perfect. you both so much for coming on. This is so much fun. Yeah, yeah we really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing the show. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Pittsburgh CLO's Cara, uh, Cabaret Series presents the 20 Sided Tavern on stage through April 30th at the Greer Cabaret Theater. Sounds like so much fun. And